Mark Schock. He is the system application engineer for Mastervolt. Hello. Welcome, Mark. And right. one of the one of the things we've been kind of sitting on a secret. Yeah, here. if anybody um, says what's Master Volt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, we, as many of our followers know, in May we picked up a 2022 Rockwood Mini Light 2205, and that has a little something extra added, uh, sort of like having one of those old Dodge Omni. Uh, cars, but happening to have the Carol Shelby touches Ooh. to it. <laughs> In other words, it uh, it's got There's a, a lot of horsepower. Yeah, <laughs> and Mark uh, knows all about that. It, he is with a company called Mastervolt. Uh, first of all, Mark, tell us a little about Mastervolt because you have a lot of experience and and maybe a little of what's under the hood of this machine. Yep. Yeah, so Masterful is uh, an energy management uh, company. Uh, we develop lithium ion batteries as well as some other batteries and inverter and charger technology. So a lot of ways to control power one way or another. And uh, Masterful has been around since 2008. Uh, it was kind of developed for um, boating, for sailboats, for the world race uh, of sailboats. And since then has now transitioned into more of a product line for RVs and others as we see this market kind of turning into off-grid camping and using solar and other things to really run with your needs. So yeah, and one of the one of the important things, there are probably more than one company that does uh, lithium and solar systems for RVs. But if you're in the marine industry, you're you know you have your sailboat, you're way out on the on the water. You want everything to absolutely and unquestionably work and work well. <laughs> there is no calling AAA from the middle of the ocean. <laughs> so right. uh, the systems from Mastervolt are really bulletproof systems. And yeah. Rockwood has partnered with Mastervolt to put an optional Mastervolt uh, solar system, uh, lithium and battery system into specific Rockwood models, including the 2200 series and the 2500 series. So what all are we looking at under the hood of this machine? Yeah, so so kind of we'll start with the, the main, the heart, as you maybe would call it, and that's, that's the battery. And it is a uh, 400 amp hour capacity, 5500 watt hour, uh, 12 volt lithium ion battery. Uh, the battery weighs about 100 pounds and it has capabilities of charging and discharging up to 500 amps of current at any time. So it has the full capability to, to satisfy any need that you would be able to put to charge or discharge from that battery. So that's, then, that's kind of the part, yep. And then there's also an inverter, so you can literally power everything in this trailer. Yeah. Yep. We don't so we even have... need the little stickers to tell us which outlets we can use. <laughs> right, it's all of them. <laughs> yeah, the system is, is uh, the inverter is a, it's a combination. We call it a combi master because it is an inverter and a charger in one unit. Um, and this inverter is a 3000 watt inverter. And so it has more than enough capability to, to run the air conditioner or any other loads in your camper. And it'll do double that. 3,000 watts for its peak power of 6,000 watts for wow. five seconds. So <laughs> yeah, it's, it's very capable of powering your whole camper. It has been absolutely game changing in how we've camped since we picked this up. Uh, I did a little calculation of if we predominantly stayed at off grid camping that were either really cheap or completely free, like national parks and uh, boondockers, welcome harvest host, that kind of thing. Um, it wouldn't take us long to basically zero out the cost of this. But but the other nice thing is there's never a there's never a situation where it's like oh I don't want to camp there because I can't run my microwave or coffee maker or even air conditioner. Right. <laughs> and yeah. that has that has yeah. been just such a different experience, but not having to use a noisy generator so for the for the people who camp 
and then oh it's it's no longer generator hours i have to shut down nope not for us we just keep going and mm -hmm. and it's absolutely silent yeah so a, a package like this there are a lot of people who will put together packages on their own they'll go buy batteries and they'll go buy inverters and all of that and i can't tell you how many of those people have said uh, it doesn't quite work yet I'm still working and yeah. kinks out. <laughs> what kind of thinking goes into a package like this? Because it just works and it works very well. Yeah, the Masterful product is really designed to work with each other and completely provide you that full solution no matter what. So the full thought of we need a battery to do all of this and an inverter that powers everything, it's all thought of in a way that it all collectively works together. It communicates together. So if there's any issues, the, it, the other parts know that there's something else going on as well. So it's really, they put the whole engineering team solely behind it to make sure that this functions the way we need it to function. So you're not having piecemeal is what I would call it, uh, parts in there that now something's not working correctly because something else doesn't work with that certain yeah, spec yeah so this is all really thought through to be a full integrated system and you build the entire system end to end so basically the components are those of your company yeah yeah we also we also have the the fuse holders and the fuse blocks and everything else in our product line so we we can build the entire system to make sure that every component is is specced correctly and done to the full capability of our system's uh, requirements. The volume of electricity you're moving around in a system like this is pretty impressive. And to have all the com every piece of it designed to work properly with those kind of loads makes a lot of difference, not only in performance, but in safety. It can be a big issue if somebody doesn't spec something correctly and you're trying to pull this kind of power to run an air conditioner or run a microwave. And, you know, it could be somebody not specking the right size wire that causes a problem. Right, so, right. Yeah, that's where that's where bad things can happen. In, in addition to the battery and the inverter, there's also a tremendous amount of solar included in this package um, to, to charge this system. Can you tell us a little about that? Yeah. So we have another product. It's a Mastervolt solar charge controller. Uh, it's an MPPT solar charge controller. It's a 60 amp capacity. Um, and it, it takes that solar panel wattage that we have and the voltage, and it creates into, uh, up to 60 amps of current to charge our batteries back up. So uh, anytime you're running that air conditioner or anything, we're putting juice back in as long as you're getting some sun. So yeah. I, the, thing that just blows my mind is uh, we were at a place and they offered us a 30 amp connector and I said nope come here I'll show you something and there's <laughs> a nifty control panel and we'll we'll show that that's built into this system and there are a number of things that you can observe or also control and at that moment I was pulling in 45 amps of power so I said I'm doing half again more than what you're offering me from the from the wall. Uh, so the whole system is just it's just really game changing and very, very impressive. And and I don't want to understate how it just works. It's yeah, it's not, oh, I have to fiddle with this or mess with that to get it to operate. It just it works. Well, we want to design the systems to take that um bad user experience or that cumbersome part away. We want it to be turn on one switch and you're ready to go and everything works. When you want something to work, you want it to work. You don't want to have to sit there and push seven buttons to make it work. You want to just one button, it turns on, yeah. does what you need. You know, yeah, so. Tony's usually like, the electrical, the remote control guy that, and so for the first week or so, I was just like, Hey, I want to use the microwave. Will you make it happen for me? And then when I realized all he did is like push one button, I'm like, Oh wait, I can do that myself. <laughs> I can actually figure out one button. <laughs> well, one of the beauties of the system, it is very, it, it's very simple from the user end, 
but powerful with that through that control panel, you can turn the inverter on and off, for example. Uh, mm -hmm. You can change the incoming amperage. So let's say you happen to be mooching off your sister for a month. And that you, doesn't happen. <laughs> and you do want, you do have a outlet and it's just a regular plug from the garage, a 20 amp or a theoretical 20 amp plug from the garage. You can set the system such that it has specific draws from the uh, from shore power. So with that, I put it down to 10 amps, knowing that there's a beer fridge in the garage. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it was a, I don't know, I think it was like a 14 gauge extension cord. So it was a thin extension cord. So I, rather than melt the extension cord, I just said, hey, drop the, the power that that thing pulls and, uh, and you won't have a problem. Yeah, yeah, we call that our AC AC in limit, so we can set that limit to whatever you desire because of your requirements. And and like you said, it gives you that flexibility that you can plug in anywhere if you need to, if you need to. Um, yeah, and, yeah, that's yeah. the thing. And then you have that option. <laughs> only yep. on the only on the cloudy days. <laughs> well, even the cloudy days, like I bet you right now, it it is the oddest weather day. It, yeah, it's we're. It's really in cloudy. It rained July, all night. <laughs> and it's cloudy. And I'm still, I think I'm still pulling 25 amps off the solar panels. That's, by the way, only odd to us Californians. I guess. Everybody else is like, yes, yeah, so it rained in July. We're not Californians anymore. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Those of us who grew up in California. I haven't grown up yet. <laughs> I can't win. <laughs> <laughs> So this system is available as an option on 2023 Rockwood, the 2200 and 2500 series, because they have a, a drop frame. And so there's a little more space in the front storage. And one of the things to, to the credit of this package altogether. One of the reasons it's in the drop frame is it's not just the size of a RV battery, right? There's some bulk to it. Right. It takes a little bit of space to do all this. And so you need that little extra space. And so we, coming from the old, the 1905 Rockwood, where we didn't even have a pass-through, we didn't really feel like we lost that space because we still have more storage space than we did yeah. with the 1905. But if you're accustomed to having all that drop frame space, you just need to know that this is going to take up a little bit of that. But it's also protected inside the right, RV, right. so from both weather and, let's just say, Prying sticky eyes. fingers. <laughs> sticky fingers. <laughs> so is yeah. there anything else that you'd like to share with us about this system that people might be interested in knowing? Um, so another neat feature with that AC in limit is we do power share, more or less. So when you are running off that 10 amps that you have that limit set at, you can still run the air conditioner because it'll just only pull 10 amps from that shore cord, shore power coming in. And then they'll supplement the rest of that need to run the air conditioner from the battery for that little period of time. And then once that uh, air conditioner and compressor goes away, then it goes back to actually charging the batteries. Uh, one nice thing with that Combi Master, like I said, it is a charger. That charger is a 160 amp charger. And you don't need to be at 30 amps of shore power to, to get full 160 amps worth of DC charge current. You actually, it's about 23 to 25 amps of AC in power from your shore cord. And you're gonna be maxing out that charger at 160 amps. So if you need to plug in and charge that battery, you could charge that battery in just under about two and a half hours and you're back on the road and ready to go again if you don't have solar to help. So Great. even with solar and that option, you can you can put in almost, uh, you know, you said you're getting 40 amps. You could be throwing 200 amps in that battery and it'd be just over two hours and you're topped off ready to go from completely dead to ready to roll again. Well, well so, and that's, that's, that's one of the key. things, you know, as you're driving around, this system's always working. So let's say you're towing your, your Rockwood or Flagstaff uh, from home or from campground to campground. The entire time you're driving, it's charging. 
so you i don't remember ever a circumstance where we showed up at a at a place and it wasn't completely at at 100 percent. right so yeah, we, then, inter we we integrated the solar charge controller to work no matter what way you turn your battery disconnect on or off as long as the battery's online and it's ready to go it's taking whatever solar the solar is going to produce so it, it all knows where the state of the, the charge of the battery is. So it knows what it needs to pull and what it can can help offset. So, yeah, it's, it's just a really impressive system. And, and one of the big things our viewers always ask is, can I run my air conditioner on a battery? Yes. Now you yes, can. you can. <laughs> and in this trailer, Rockwood included a soft start RV, uh, soft start air conditioning system. So it just it works on the battery there's not the lights don't dim when the <laughs> air conditioner kicks in and you could still run the microwave at the same time and and now of course depending on how much sun you're getting and and how charged the batteries are that there will be a variable of how long you can run the air conditioner but we easily got four to six hours even on cloudy days so that's enough to cool it down at night and, and you're, mm -hmm. you're good to go. And, you know, obviously in full sun, you've got more power coming in from the solar panels than going out with the air conditioner. Cause it's a, it's an efficient unit. Right. So it, it just, I, I absolutely a game changing system. And I, I can't stress enough that you check the option box, you get the system and it just works. Right. Right. That that's the thing. There hasn't been one moment where it's like, oh, I gotta ask the Master Volt people this question or that question. It just worked <laughs> from the from the get go. Our our, our other goal is uh, not every camper is an electrical engineer, and we right. don't want them to be. We want the the system be simple to the point where they don't need to understand how all this works. They just need to know how to turn on the switch, push the button. And, and it works and that's all they want to do. That's how they want it to function. And maybe there's a little bit of education on how that functions, but we want it to be as simplistic as possible so you can enjoy your camping experience because that's yeah. the ultimate reason why you're doing this. You want to enjoy right. your camping experience. And if you're fidgeting with inferior product or something that's not working, we're going to, we're going to be the reason why you're not satisfied. We don't <laughs> yeah, want to be that we want everybody that's be happy the, campers. So yeah, right. and we have been, and and that's not the you know the the fiddly not at all. It's mm -mm. uh, it's we just show up at some of these harvest hosts. I, I will intersperse photos of places we've been. It's just been these beautiful places, and we've we've showed it off to people one on one, and they're like, oh my gosh, how do I get this? And, <laughs> and that is another thing you will be able to. Uh, to work with Master Vault potentially on putting this in in the aftermarket, but I'm a big fan of Rockwood and Flagstaff products, so um, the the whole system has just been great. Yeah. So we we can't uh, speak more highly of of this system. You guys just done a great job with it. Thank you. Appreciate all your feedback, and uh, I'm glad you're very satisfied. And hopefully, we we get a lot more more satisfied customers like you. I, I I don't see how you wouldn't. I mean, this <laughs> is this is sort of the you know the holy grail of uh, solar and battery systems. Everyone says, well, I want it to do this. I want to accomplish that. And you should say, well, but and yeah, and no, it it's just <laughs> just works. And then in the event that for some odd reason you're not getting enough power from the solar panels <laughs> on the roof, you this system actually has the capability of accepting portable solar panels, which we've been carrying around in our truck to solar panels that we haven't needed, by the way. But that's the beauty of it is if you do, if maybe you're parked in the shade and the sun's way over there, you can actually plug in those portable panels and use those to help charge your battery as well, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah so that's the solar on the side. It really is going to help you extend that capacity of the battery and, and give you more charge as well. Yeah, it's it's almost ludicrous when you think there's all this solar on the roof. I'm getting all this power, but it's again, it's like putting a supercharger on a big block engine. <laughs> it's like I'm gonna 
plug in a couple of more, more solar panels on the side and the controller can handle all that without blinking so oh. it's it's funny i we've we've carried it as you said we've carried these panels around with us and haven't had to use them but i want to just again the, the supercharger or it's like having a nitrous bottle or something <laughs> like that yeah. <laughs> like you said superchargers maybe you need a, a quick charge in a shorter period of time you can throw those on there and get a little bit more capacity a little on extra it. Yeah. yeah or if you're parked in the, in a place where it's shady the one of the nice things about portable panels is you can put them out and chase the sun with them so there is there is that advantage too right. we have a couple of gold power duralite uh, portable solar panels and they're really a nice light but powerful panel that just plugs right in. Yep. Wait, the controller on this is an MPPT controller, which is, uh, if, if you're familiar with, with a lot of these solar systems, that's sort of the gold standard. And then that has also been uh, added to the package that's in the Geo Pro and EPro models too, from my understanding. We've been focusing a lot on safety recently, and I've heard a you know, a lot of people are really concerned about the safety of lithium batteries. So Mark, is there like concern or can you tell us why we shouldn't be concerned? No, and there, there should be no concern with, with this system. Uh, our batteries have what we call a BMS. So it's a battery management system integrated into the battery. So if there's any safety concerns, any issues with the battery itself, it'll take itself offline. And that's done through a mechanical uh, switch or relay as we would call it that would actually deactivate the battery shut itself off and in an event that the battery gets down to zero percent it takes itself offline so we don't do any harm or cause any low cell voltages and potentially harm the battery so it does all that integrated all on its own you don't have to even do anything and if you get to zero percent and that does happen it's all built in and programmed as soon as you plug in and the charger says i'm going to start charging the battery it reconnects itself and starts charging the battery back up. It's all integrated to be, you literally run it and you run it down to zero. It takes itself offline. You plug it back in. It puts itself back online and it starts charging back up again. So there's no safety concerns that uh, would come with any of our systems. It's all meant to be safe and protected on its own. Great. And, and one of the things I noticed, there's a USB cable that is there what's that for charging your phone <laughs> <laughs> it won't charge your phone that's the one thing you have to use the internal ones so integrated in this system because it all is master volt components and they all talk together it's a network so we have a usb interface that you can plug in a laptop and we can remote into your computer and you can see the system we can see the system and if there is any potential issues we can go through and, and possibly solve those or correct them, or even just monitor the system remotely through this USB interface. Nice. Okay. That's, that's so awesome. If you, if you had any issues, you could call our tech support number and you plug in a laptop with some internet and we can see what's really going on in the system as it's happening live. Okay. Yeah. And again, something very important to consider, a lot of the DIY solar and lithium systems people will miss they might run too thin a wire from the solar panels because that's a tremendous amount of power coming down right yeah. and wire quality and gauge is important or they may mismatch a component this it's all meant to work together so that also makes it not only work well but be a safer system there's nothing you know not matched perfectly in this system and that is a i can't you know again it's it's a big <laughs> safety uh benefit and your diy systems don't have that tech support built in that's true <laughs> you yeah. are your own tech support no and there's nothing worse <laughs> than you're in the middle of the forest trying to camp something's not working and your spouse is looking at you like i thought this ten thousand dollars worth of stuff <laughs> was gonna make our lives different oh it made it different all right you're now sleeping out in the forest with the bears <laughs> No, that, that gives us an extra level that you don't necessarily have to go directly to the dealer to get some support. We can help you uh, remotely wherever you're at um, and, and get that, that support that you really need to get you back up to what you're really trying to do. 
And that's our goal. Yeah, that's, that, that's terrific. But again, the system is so well integrated and so well designed. Uh, I don't see that you'll be getting a lot of those calls. Right. <laughs> uh, another thing that we offer is with this system through Masterful, as, it, as we've said many times now, it is all designed to work together and integrated together with all of its own components. There is a warranty that stands behind our product and we will stand behind our product. Uh, there's a five-year warranty on all these systems because we've designed them, we've engineered them, we've made sure that they will work the way that they are meant to work and so that you don't have to worry about it. So we we stand behind our product with a very robust warranty as well. Ah, so that's Great. significant. Yeah. Mark, thank you so much for your time and we'll, uh, we will continue to tell the story of this awesome system and we have more information coming out uh, yeah. including we will be at the frog rally uh so if you are at the frog rally and would like to see this system we are very happy to show it off to you yep 